So on this Camaro, we're going to paint the outside today, uh, BMW W93 Blizzard White Pearl. So uh, I'm going to go in and I'm going to wipe down first with this uh, water cleaner. Uh, what that's going to do is get all the, uh, a lot of the dust, the micro particles out of the scratches and that where, where a, um, a wax and grease remover type cleaner won't do that. Uh, so we're going to start with water, we're going to get all the dust particles, everything off of the car. Then we're going to switch to the SX320, which is uh, a good wax and grease remover.
getting ready to put on our first coat of mid coat. So with pearls and metallics, this is the first time I've really talked to you guys about pearls and metallics a whole lot. 895 is the reducer I use. Uh, I don't care if it's 70 degrees, 80 degrees in the booth, I use 95 re degree reducer. That's going to help you a lot with modeling. Silvers especially, always at least 895. Sometimes I'll even use 898. Um, it just depends on the color a little bit if I'm having trouble with it. If you've ever heard the saying, fast is slow, slow is fast, in painting, that's 100% true. If, you're, if you are if think you're going to go in there with a you know, DT870, the 70 degree reducer, and lay silver, if you, if you can do it, kudos to you, but probably not. Uh, it's uh, slow, is, slow is fast, fast is slow. They say that because if you try to use a fast reducer, you're gonna have problems and it's gonna slow you down. You're better off to use the uh, use the high temp reducer and uh, you know wait another five to ten minutes between coats. What that's gonna do is it's gonna allow that panel to stay wet longer. It's gonna allow those metallics and those pearls to lay out better. Uh, another tip for metallics and pearls: a lot of guys you see they'll have a high metallic or a high pearl uh, paint mid coat, whatever it is, and they'll come in they'll hang their gun like that. What that does, all them metallics and all them pearls are going to settle down. They're going to settle right about here in your gun. So one thing I like to do, always hang that upside down. Let the metallics settle to the bottom of the cup so that you can shake it up. And, and you don't have, uh, you don't lose. Because when you do that, you're not going to be able to shake it out of here. So you're, you're actually going to change your color. You're going to change your flop, your face, all that. So if you... If you're using the PPS cups, definitely hang it upside down between coats. Another thing I've had some questions on is um, panel painting these, uh, you know, high metallic and, and pearls and candies. Uh, you can do it. You just have to be very meticulous and you have to be robotic in how you spray. Uh, also, keep track of air pressure. What pressure are you spraying at? What's your panel temp? airflow all those factors of painting you need to keep track of that and and when when you do you will have success we've painted here we've painted uh we've painted you know candies we've painted tri coats metallic solid colors we almost never paint a car assembled just because of quality you don't want tape lines you don't want to jam the car and then bolt everything together have a tape line in the door especially with a candy if you're doing a candy say the ground color is a gold and a uh, you're doing a blue or red whatever candy color where your tape line is you're gonna have a gold line between your your jam blue and your and your exterior blue you're gonna have a, a gold line or a silver line whatever color your base is because where that tape line is you're 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 getting just like this you're getting uh you're gonna get a you know your first coat is blue or silver you're gonna have silver and then you're gonna bury that in blue when you untape this you're gonna have a silver line there that's why that's why you don't want to do tape lines i like i say we almost never jam a vehicle and then bolt it together and paint it always we always panel paint but be meticulous
ready for some clear now. We're using that uh, 8117 uh, cloudy looking semi-gloss clear.